everybody. It's uh, 9.55 at night. I'm not going to be looking at the screen at all, so you'll just have to forgive me for that. I am in the truck driving from Oklahoma City to the St. Louis area to wrap up some business. I um, have to get my trailer registered in Missouri because that's my state of residence and I have to uh, renew my motorcycle license or license plates registration and so uh, this coming July I'm taking the whole month off um, my current hospital that I'm working at uh, I would have to say definitely has been the most challenging difficult frustrating job in a hospital that I've ever had. Um, it's the most burnt out, stressed out I've ever felt. And that's saying a lot because as a new nurse, you know, your first job as a nurse, you, you're pretty freaked out. Like you just, every night you have nightmares about what did I forget to do? And, you know, did I treat that right? Did I call early enough? You know, you're constantly second-guessing everything that you're doing because um, nursing is not something you just jump into. It's not like sweeping a floor and cleaning a toilet. It's definitely a practice. Um, just like a doctor, you're not good for a while. Um, so that's how it's been as a seasoned nurse, uh, feeling that way. Uh, because it's just, you know, an overwhelming situation. So anyway, I'm taking the month off. I can't wait. Um, and I'm trying to get all of my, as my best friend Samantha used to say, all my poop in a group. Uh, I'm trying to get everything organized before July hits so that when I have my month off, I'm not running around trying to get license for this and registration for this and driving here and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to St. Louis to basically tie up some loose ends and make a final cut for what I'm going to keep and put in the trailer and what's going to the Goodwill and there's a couple tough boxes of stuff keepsakes and things that I'm going to uh, keep at my parents house or put in a storage unit so I'm going to be doing that uh, three days off in a row and it's like seven and a half hour drive to get there so I worked overnight last night slept till two Piddle farted around and then got in 800 on the road. feet. Turn oh. right onto US 60 East. Sorry, that's loud. US 69 North. So, um, anyway, so all that to say, I'm driving out there to get everything Take ready. Right this is US my first um, maiden voyage driving the trailer. It's been, gosh, 15 years. I don't know, 14 years since I was actively driving a big truck for the army so I'm definitely out of practice <laughs> so first thing I did is I went through Sonic drive through through the parking lot and they have a an open-ended uh, drive through for big trucks like this so I thought well, let's drive right through there well I got it wedged in there and I literally had to have some some guy help me we had to unattach unhook the trailer and shimmy it straight and then back up the truck and realign it hook it up back and then pull it out because uh i i was about to i touched the fender i didn't scrape it but i touched the fender on the concrete and i'm like man if i go any further i'm gonna i'm gonna damage something and it's just a rookie move it takes a while to get your feet underneath you when you're driving something this big and then um, I hit one curb <laughs> it was a big curb uh, I nicked it and jostled the trailer really good so I pulled over immediately and wanted to check and see if everything was okay and I had strapped I had my motorcycle with me so I had, had it strapped in and uh, I had two harnesses on it or two um, ratchet straps on it and of course the kickstand down and it was leaning uh, the jostle was good enough where the tires slipped and it was cocked sideways and leaked some gas and oil on the inside of the trailer which is just 
I mean, I'm not going to freak out about it. It just happens. It's part of, it's the growing pains of doing something new. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to have to put some kitty litter on it and clean it up and sand it and put some kills on it. I'll be good to go. So, um, so anyway, that's what's going on with that. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm about to finish the insulation on the floor and start putting some stuff in there that makes it home. So I'm really excited. Um, it's coming soon that I'm going to be living in this thing. And I'm excited about that. And yeah, it's all new. But right now it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm tired. The day after I work, I'm usually shot. So um, I might pull over in a McDonald's or something and take a nap because... I don't ever want to drive this thing really tired. Um, it's hard enough to drive uh, thousands of pounds of something down the road, let alone when you're tired. Um, so I think that's about it for now. I'm just counting down. I have 50 more, 15 more shifts to go at this job. And uh, my recruiter contacted me today and, hey, would you like to uh, re-up your contract, sign a new contract for where you're at. And I was just like, no, you couldn't pay me enough to keep me here right now. I got to get out of here. So, um, yeah, I said it pretty colorfully to her that I didn't want to re-up my contract. But so, yeah, I'm setting it in motion where I'm going to take some time off. I can't wait just to see friends and family and explore this is really finally happening. It's been a, just a, more than a decade of pondering, thinking, watching videos, dreaming about this, and here we are. Here we are. I've, I've put together with the Lord, of course. <laughs> I've put together all of the pieces to make this happen, and I just feel like it's too good to be true. But yeah, anyway, so maiden voyage, seven and a half hours on the road, definitely a couple of wrinkles, but nothing I can't handle. And uh, Daisy Doodle, I don't know if I can pull it over for you to see her. I have set inside a uh, Rubbermaid box. I took off the lid because she kept on, if I hit the brakes, she kind of hits the dashboard if she's sitting up. So that's her little Rubbermaid box and she sits in there. I've got a foamy yoga mat in there so it's nice and comfortable for her. Anyway, so signing off, I just wanted to say hello and put a video out there. Hello.